Liberia, Dominica, Barbados, Mali, Australia, Pakistan, Antigua and Barbuda, Tanzania, Utopia, United Arab Emirates, Seychelles, Maldives, Madagascar, Palau, Bolivia. Still up in the streets on sign. Still trying to get a million and some peace of mind. Free my dog. Free all of my niggas, I ain't see him in time. Still up in the streets on sign. Still trying to get a million and some peace of mind. Hey Rumi's, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. My name is Miriam Rumi. If this is your first time on this channel, please don't make it your last time by clicking the subscribe button below. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, um, right now, why? What month is this? Do you know if March, April, May? Okay, yeah. Right now, we're in the month of May. <laughs> I did not just do that. Right now, we're in the month of May, ending of May to be precise, and we're going into June. July. We all know that's the summer months, that's the month people like to go on vacation and stuff like that. So yeah, it's about that time where people pack up their bag and just leave. And um, I want to be one of those people that pack up their bags and just leave. Um, we know it's a hustle, real big hustle to leave, <laughs> to leave this country's shell, honestly. Most of these countries are not accepting Nigerians and um, sometimes the, the charges from these, these travel agencies are just like really ridiculous and stuff like that. And then I thought about it, I started seeing these videos on Instagram and all of that. I was considering doing uh, places you can visit, like visa free countries you can visit and then I started seeing the videos online and I'm like, let me quickly do this before videos like this start coming up and then um, it's kind of too late for me to make a video. This is time for us to pack our bags and leave this country behind for Buari because like it's odd girl summer period and um, a lot of people want to go on vacation, vacation, solo location, whatever vacation it is you want to go on and you have my type of passport, the Nigerian green passport. I got you in this video because I'm going to be coming up with places that you can visit as a Nigerian with a Nigerian passport, places that are visa free for Nigerians, places that are like e-visa required and places that you need visa on arrival let's get into the video first of all let me say this i know that everybody knows what visa free means but for those that are living under a rock a visa free country for nigerians okay a visa free country is a country that you can just pack up your bag and just go to all you need to do is book a flight or go by road or by water <laughs> depending on where you're going to but like a visa free country is a country that you just can just pack up your bags and Go and call up a few friends and be like, yo, let's go to this place and it's a destination. Um, we don't have much of those as Nigerians. We don't have much of that kind of privilege, that kind of opportunity because our, name, our country just has bad name. Let's just face facts. But like, yeah, I'm going to be telling you the few ones that you can go to that are actually visa free. And then I'll be mentioning the ones that are e-visa and then I'll be mentioning the ones that are visa on arrival. But like, yeah, let's get into it. Everybody knows that Ghana is number one on this list. <laughs> like, even if you're living on a rock, you know that if you need space, you need time out, you can just pack up your bags and go straight to Ghana. So Ghana is the number one on this list so, for me. Um, Next country I'll be mentioning is going to be Togo. Togo is one of these African countries that are just like around the corner that you can also visit if you are going like on a African tour, you want to see countries that are around you, you can go to Togo. The next country is going to be Senegal. If you see me looking there, it's because I had to make a list of this country. So in case you don't know, in case you're sleeping on Senegal, Senegal is a place to be. Senegal is really beautiful. And um, yeah, you know a lot of people want destination, location, and stuff like that. Senegal is a place to visit. So next on my list is Sierra Leone. I don't really have much to say about Sierra Leone, so I'm just going to move to the next country. Next on my list is Niger, like short form of Nigeria. I know for myself if I want like a summer girl vacation type thing, I'm not going to be visiting Niger because it just sounds like Nigeria. But for people like me, um, that I want to like visit places that are in Africa, I just felt the need to put Niger in because Niger is in Africa and Niger is also a lovely place to visit. So next is going to be Liberia. If you're here sitting there and thinking that craziness only happens in Jamaica, you're sleeping on Liberia because Liberia is the crazy of the crazy. You need to visit Liberia. It's a fun place to visit. You go there and you literally forget time. I haven't been there, but I, I've heard so much about it that it is on my African visit list. 
if you get what I mean. So the next place on this list is gonna be Guinea. I don't really have much to say about Guinea, but like, yeah, it's a nice place and it's visa free for Nigerians. So next on my list is gonna be Guinea Bissau. Guinea Bi I hope I'm not mentioning it wrongly, but like, Guinea Bissau. I'm going to put like, um, you know, the names right there for you guys to see. But like, yeah, that's the next place on my list. You can visit that place too. I believe it's nice. So next on my list is gonna be Gambia. <laughs> I have uncle in Gambia. He's a teacher. <laughs> He's a teacher and he hasn't really told me much about that place but if I ever consider visiting there, I have an uncle to call on like, Uncle Afa, pull up, I'm around, let me come and eat, you know, stuff like that. After Gambia, I have Benin on my list. When I say Benin, yo, it took me actually a long time to actually realize Benin was a country on its own. There's a country called Benin and not like Benin in Nigeria. Yeah, so there's a country called Benin and it's a visa free place for you to visit as a Nigerian. So you can consider visiting Benin. So next is Dominica. And you could consider visiting Dominica. It's a nice place from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also have IIT on my list. I hope I'm not killing these names. If I am, I'm really sorry. I'm trying my best. Then we have Burkina Faso. If you've not heard of Burkina Faso, go Google it. It's a nice place. You could also consider visiting there. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make a separate video of like places I would visit that are visa free to Nigerians that I feel like I won't miss out on visiting those places generally. But like right now, I'm just calling all the places that are actually visa free. But like places that are visa free that I would want to visit, I'm going to make a video of those places next. So next on my list is Barbados. You can already tell with the name, it's a place to be. <laughs> it's a place to be nice place nice environment for a vacation or whatever um yeah so i have Cote d'Ivoire. i have cape verde next cape verde i think you need some sort of pre-reg easc or whatever pre-reg to visit cape verde but like cape verde is a very nice place consider visiting that place too and then um, i think the last on my list for visa free countries for nigeria is going to be mali I feel like I kept Mali last because you guys already know that. <laughs> I'm definitely going to put Mali in the list of places that I want to visit. That's why I kept it last. So yeah, there's Mali and it's a really nice place to consider visiting. So now for countries that are e-visa, an e-visa application is an application that you have to do online, like on internet and stuff like that. You have to apply for that visa on internet. A priority your, um, your trip or like your travel and stuff like that. That's what an e-visa is. Now, I don't know if they deny e-visas, but like, I, I, I've not heard of any that was denied, in my own opinion. I've not heard of any that was denied. So let's move to countries that you need e-visas to enter as a Nigerian. First on that list for me is Australia. Australia is a beautiful place. If you're not living under a rock, you can't tell me you don't know Australia. This is Australia, you're gonna need an e-visa. I believe it's not hard to get, so you can do your research and find out about that. So next on my list is Malawi, also a nice place to consider visiting. You're going to need an e-visa for that. Next on my list is Kenya, nice place to visit. You need an e-visa for that too. Next on my list is Iran. <laughs> I'm just going to continue, I'm just going to move on from Iran. Next on my list is Albania. Yeah, it's also a nice place to actually consider visiting Albania, very nice. Next on my list is this country called Kyrgyzstan. I'm going to put the name here. Don't shoot me. Don't kill me. I'm so sorry. I don't even know how to pronounce it and I'm not good with English. You guys already know. So next on my list is Gabon. You can consider visiting Gabon. The next place that I would mention is going to be Pakistan. If you, uh, if you have the mind to visit Iran, they, obviously you can visit Pakistan. You can visit Pakistan. It's not for me. I'm not sure. It's not a place I want to visit on like a solo occasion, but like with no, definitely not obey either. But like on an adventurous trip with some crazy friends that I've not met yet, <laughs> I will consider visiting Pakistan. So next on my list is Oman. Oman is also a nice place that you can consider visiting, and you're gonna need an e visa to visit Oman. So next on my list is Moldova. Personally, I've not really heard of that country before, but it's a country in Europe. 
Oh, it's a country in Europe and it's a really nice place from what I've seen so you can consider visiting Moldova. So next on my list is this country called Antigua and Barbuda. I think Antigua and Barbuda. I'm not sure about the pronouncing. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's also a very nice country in the Caribbean and um, if you're really looking for that Caribbean water, you know, type vibe, you should consider visiting there. Next on my list is Bahrain. Bahrain is a country located in the Middle East. An island country located in the Middle East. I think it's somewhere around Asia or something like that. So if that's kind of your vibe, you can consider visiting there too. So next on my list is a country called South so Tom and Princip, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the name there in case I'm not pronouncing it right. So it's somewhere in Central Africa and it's also a place to consider visiting. So next on my list is this country called Suriname. It's located in South America and um, it's a place to consider visiting. So next on this list is going to be Tajikistan. It's an Asian country, I think a country located in Asia. And um, yeah, <laughs> I know I've thrown you guys away. Now I'm coming back to what you can understand. I'm coming back to like our our usual places that we usually visit that you won't find like too confusing and all of that. And that's going to be Tanzania. Tanzania is a very beautiful place to visit that is located here in Africa, not so far from us. And um, yeah, you just need to have like. Some little money and you have the best vacation in Tanzania. Next is going to be Uganda. Um, Uganda is also a nice place to consider visiting. And to visit Uganda, you're going to need an e-visa, an online electronic visa. And um, yeah, that's all that is required to visit Uganda today. Uganda is a very beautiful place. If you are sleeping on it, wake up. So next on my list is going to be Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is also a place to visit. It's also in Africa, close to us. So if you're thinking of visiting somewhere that is not so far and you just want to go on like a quick one week vacation or something, you can consider visiting these countries that are not so far from us like Ghana, Zimbabwe, Uganda, you know, places like that. So next on my list is going to be Zambia. I don't really know much about Zambia if I'm being honest, but I'm pretty sure if you want to visit there, you can read about it and then, yeah, do your research and um, apply online. Next on my list is this country called Uzbekistan. I think it's located in Asia and um, yeah, for those of you that want to stretch leg and you want to go to places like Korea and all of those places and your leg cannot reach there, <laughs> your leg cannot reach there yet, you can consider going there. Now, um, next on my list is going to be Utopia. 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 Yo, Utopia is a really nice place to visit. It's a place that I want to visit too. It's a country here in Africa and um, yeah, you should consider visiting Utopia. Really nice place. Now to visit Utopia, it's, you're going to need an e-visa or you can also do like a visa on arrival. So if you do not have an e-visa, you can go to Ethiopia and um, get a visa while you're there. Like as you, your plane lines, you can apply for a visa right there in Ethiopia. Now, last on my list, <laughs> I have to keep this one for last because every Tom Dick Canary, almost every Tom Dick Canary has been to Dubai, yeah? So the last on my list is the United Arab Emirates, yeah? So like, um, if you're considering traveling, you want to go somewhere nice, you want to do some shopping and all of that, you can um, consider going to Dubai which is in the United Arab Emirates. So that's the last four. The places that are visa-free but requires an e-visa. So next is going to be the um, last category, which is the visa on arrival countries. The countries that when you get there, that's when you apply for a visa. The visa is given to you when you get to the point of entry. That's when you apply for a visa as a Nigerian. You'll be like, hey, I'm coming to your country. I'm Nigerian. I want to apply for a visa. And yeah, that's how you do that on visa on arrival countries. So the first on my list is going to be seashells. Everybody knows seashells. You probably know one or two people that have gotten married in seashells or like Mauritius or places like that. Seashells is visa on arrival. It's not really such a big deal. You could go to that kind of place, beautiful, serene environment, in the middle of an ocean, vacation, girls trip, you know, whatever it is. You could go to seashells you just get and you just need to pack your bag go there and get a visa when you arrive there so seashells is one of the places that you would require a visa on arrival next on my list is maldives 
Maldives is expensive. You cannot afford Maldives if you're going to seashells or like many of all the other places I'm going to mention. But like a lot of people go on Instagram and you see these pictures and you're all like, oh, oh, I wish I could visit here. It's in Maldives. And as a Nigerian, you can actually visit Maldives with visa on arrival. So if you have the money, pack your load, go to Maldives, apply for visa when you get there. Next on my list is going to be Mauritius. Mauritius is also an island country located in East Africa. It's also a place to be. It's also a place to visit. I haven't been to any of these places, but I consider going there myself if I want to go like on a vacation that I'm just going to be naked. Yeah, I consider going to Mauritius. So the next on my list is going to be Mauritania. Mauritania is also a place to consider visiting if you want to go to a country that you don't really need serious processing to visit and then, yeah, you just need a visa on arrival. Next on my list is Rwanda. In case you don't know Rwanda, I don't know what you're sleeping on because Rwanda is right now, I believe, the cleanest country in Africa. Right? I think. Let me know. Don't quote me, but like to me, I think it's the cleanest country in Africa. After the Rwandan genocide, there was like the whole change and all of that. But like, yeah, a place you should consider visiting is Rwanda. So, um, mm, for everybody that saw Madagascar as a child, I don't think you tell me you never had the need, the desire to want to visit Madagascar. Guess what? Madagascar is a place that you can actually visit as a Nigerian because all you need is a visa on arrival. I just told you. So, so next on my list is Bolivia. I don't really know much about that country either, but like you can read about it if it's somewhere you consider going to. And now the next on my list is gonna be Burundi, Burundi. <laughs> I know it's not really safe to visit Burundi right now, but like it's a really lovely place and um, maybe when everything is settled, you can consider visiting there. Next on my list is Namibia. Namibia is a beautiful place that is not so far from us either and you can consider visiting. Namibia is one of those countries that you can actually just go there and um, apply for a visa you do not need to secure a visa before um boarding a plane and going to the point of destination it's a visa free country visa on arrival country so yeah if you're interested in namibia it's one of the places that you can um travel to and get a visa on arrival now the next on my list is angola Angola is also one of the countries that you can travel to with visa on arrival but I think there's something about getting a, a approval or something like that before traveling there or something but it's also a visa on arrival state hmm? country <laughs> so next on my list is Palau personally I'm going there I'm going there you know places like Bali Palau I'm visiting all those places, don't worry. But like, yeah, Palau has a visa on arrival policy too, so you can visit Palau. Next on my list is Somalia. Somalia is a beautiful place. I'm pretty sure you're not living under the, under the rock. You've been seeing these beautiful Somalian ladies. This is an opportunity to go and see what the culture is like in that country, how beautiful it is and all of that. It's a visa on arrival country. Next on my list is Lebanon. You see a lot of Lebanese in Nigeria. You can also go there and um, explore. Next on my list is Comoros. It's also a visa free country that you can consider visiting. Located in East Africa. Like so next on my list is Timor Leste. Timor Leste is a country in Asia. It's a visa on arrival for Nigerians. So last on this list for me is Tuvalu, a country located in Oceania. Oceania. I've never even heard of that. But like you can imagine, it's definitely going to be in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I've been able to mention, I think, 50, 53, 54 countries that you can visit as a Nigerian that you really don't require too much either visa on arrival or e-visa or like it's visa free i know that some of these places isn't really 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 those places that is like i on a list but it's something to consider these countries are nice and um um offering a visa free or like a visa on arrival type thing you can just stand up go there and um explore new culture and stuff like that i hope you actually enjoy watching this video i know it's been um mm, <laughs> up and down and all of that but yeah um don't tell me i did not come up places to come visit for like the summer season um please remember to like this video leave a comment below and tell me the place you think you're gonna be going to with friends or like booze or stuff like that and um yeah subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye